Hello everyone, my name is Pieter. I'm 17 years old and I live in the east of the Netherlands in a small village called Varseveld. Um, in these videos I will um, take you on my journey through the admission process to get into the Computer Science and Engineering Bachelor at TU Delft. <laughs> Okay, so um, the things I will talk about um, are noted here. Um, first of all, I will start with explaining the matching and selection procedure and what it exactly entails. Then I'll show you a small timeline of all the steps um, that are in the admission process from the start to the beginning. Then I'll quickly touch upon how to prepare and how TU Delft advises you to prepare for um, the, the CST test, which I will explain in here. Um, and last, I will quickly show you my plan of action for the next coming weeks um, to try and get into the Computer Science and Engineering Bachelor. So let's get into it, the matching and selection procedure. The matching part consists of a survey and a teamwork assignment. Um, these two things you need to pass and then you can um, go on with applying. The selection procedure consists of a test testing your uh, skills on mathematics, uh, logic and algorithms. Um, for this test you get a ranking number out of the total number of students that take the test. Um, it is estimated about 2500, at least that was last year. Um, there are 550 spots, so if you get a ranking number below 550 you are out automatically accepted. You will need to accept it yourself, but I will also talk about it later in the timeline. Um, on the website of TU Delft there is a brochure um, which explains everything in detail. So the timeline. Um, the first deadline is the 15th of January. You will have to apply it to the, the course um, in StudiLink. Um, if you don't do this, well it sucks but you can't uh, get into the, the course anymore. Then between the 15th and the 21st of January the university will send an email in which you can choose a slot for your selection test in which you will be tested for your mathematical skills, your algorithmic skills and your logical thinking skills. Um, this can be on campus on the 18th of February but um, there might not be enough uh, space for everyone so there is also free dates that, um, in which they do online um, tests. Um, then you will also have, need to have a camera a good working microphone and only one display and a stable internet connection um, for proctoring and this is used so to make sure that you are not cheating. Um, you also need to choose a slot for your teamwork assignment which is part of the matching procedure um, and you will um, get more info about the online study experience. This is needed to make sure that you actually want to study computer science and that they don't have uh, loads of people that are like in the first week that think they've made a bad choice and leave the program already. Um, this is between the 15th and the 21st of January in, just in an email so keep an eye on your email. Then the 31st of January you need to have finished the online study experience because it's online there's multiple times in the time slots on which you can do the experience but it needs to be finished before the 31st of January so you can continue with the selection procedure. Um, then between the 31st of January and 8th of February you'll get a confirmation on your time slots um, of the, the CST so when you want to do the test. Um, then the 13th to 16th um, they will test your the proctoring for the online students, uh, the students that will do the test online. Um, but also for the people that do it on the campus it might be handy to join in because they also explain a bit of the software on which you'll be making the test because you'll make, be making it on a computer, on a laptop. Then the, the last deadline date is the 18th of February and that is the on-campus um, test, the one you'll be doing then the for selection and which you'll receive a ranking number for. Uh, I almost forgot that there in the brochure there's also a timeline created by the university themselves um, which also mentions the deadline for the teamwork assignment um, which we have to complete it then um, when you'll receive a rank on the 15th of April. Um, and one of the most important steps is to accept your spot within two weeks. If this doesn't happen, you'll not, you won't be accepted um, actually, and your spot will go to another person that ranks higher. 
Also handy to know is that there are only 550 spots, but because of uh, cancellations and people, um, other reasons that people might not actually join the course, um, those spots will be given to people that ranked higher. So in practice this means that it's more around the top 800 people get accepted instead of only the top 550. To help you with your planning, the TU Delft also gives you um, an estimate of uh, time needed um, for each step. Um, it's the brochure 2 also on the, the website, can be found here. Um, what I would advise is to not stick per se to this 8 hours, but um, just start learning, start preparing, um, because it really depends on how good you are at maths and how much you already have learned um, at school, um, because uh, some will need more than 8 hours and some maybe need less than 8 hours. Um, so I, I would advise at least 8 hours also a minimum, which I recommend here, um, but if you need less then you need less. You can also prepare for the systematic reasoning and logical thinking part of the CST. Um, you can not learn for the algorithmic and computational thinking, this is purely a uh, skill based on what you have right now, what you are capable of um, already. Um, well, you can study in here, there's a link here, um, in this brochure. If you click on it, you go to this website and you have to skip through a couple of books and then you'll find this one. Um, you can download the PDF, it will immediately open in your browser. Um, and you'll start with this, you can scroll down to here, the contents, uh, you can see that chapter 2 is quite a big chapter, um, but well, uh, we'll see how, how far we'll go. Um, I'll take you also, I'll um, create videos to show you how I'm studying this, how I'm learning this, what are the more difficult parts, what are the more easier parts. And if you scroll further down, you will actually get to chapter 2 and you'll see all this all the stuff you will have to learn with some exercises sometimes also so a small summary of what I've talked about today in this video um, the matching and selection procedure what it entails the matching part consisting of a teamwork assignment and a survey which you have to pass and then you can go on with the selection part um, the selection part consists of a, a test um, which uh, you're tested on your skills on mathematics, reasoning and logic, and algorithmic and computational thinking. Um, for this test you'll get a ranking number, and if your ranking number is below 550 or practically 800, because the, from the top 550 um, there are quite a lot of people that cancel um, after they've done the test, um, and then you'll get in uh, when you accept your spot in StudyLink. Um, we check the, the timeline in the brochure which you can check out yourself. Um, here's the whole timeline and also the small planning which includes the estimated times uh, per step. And we also covered what we need to learn. There are basically three things in which we can um, which we can study. The syllabus, cover everything that's in the syllabus, all the techniques, the mathematical techniques um, like functions, differential, integral, trigonometry. It's all in here, also in the brochure. Uh, the pre-university calculus course, which will I, I will explain in another video um, how that one works, but it can be found here in their mathematics. Um, and then you can also study for the systematic reasoning and logical thinking by studying the chapter two from this textbook. Um, so then my my plan of action um, in the next couple of weeks, I will start. Um, learning these and I will document how it goes and um, what are the difficult things um, with what um, I struggle and what uh, goes all right um, and how to study best for these. Um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you another time.